morning, welcome to Mom How Do I? Today I'm going to teach you how to make raspberry jam. As always, make sure to start off by washing your hands. You will need six cups of raspberries, a bowl, strainer, and a spoon if you want seedless jam, sugar, a liquid measuring cup, a box of sure gel, you can find this at your local grocery store. A pot and a whisk. And some jars to put it in. I also like having a funnel to help with the spills. Take out the recipe for your jam. You will find this inside the Sure Gel box. As you can see, the first step is to use a dry measuring cup to measure the exact amount of prepared fruit or a liquid measuring cup to measure the exact amount of prepared juice into a large bowl. So then we come down here to the red raspberry, which is the jam that we are making, and it says six cups of red raspberries. I don't really like seeds in my jam, so I'm going to take them out a little bit at a time and strain them to get rid of the seeds. You don't have to do this step if you like the seeds. Take out a few spoonfuls, put it in the strainer, and push it through. You do have to be patient during this step. It takes a while. Once you have strained everything through that you can, dump the seeds into a garbage. Continue straining the raspberries until they are all strained. Now we are ready for step two. Measure the exact amount of sugar and add it to the fruit and let it stand for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. So now we come down to our raspberries and go over to find out how much sugar to add. This says five and one fourth cups. It's good to measure the exact amount of sugar, so use a butter knife to even out the measurements. This helps you get the exact amount. Once all the sugar is measured, add the fruit mixture to the sugar and stir it up. Stir one package of Sure Gel Premium Fruit Pectin and 3 fourths cups of water in a small saucepan. Bring to a boil on high heat, stirring constantly. Boil for one minute and then remove from heat. Here we go! 3 fourths cups of water and one package of Sure Gel. Whisk it up. Boil for one minute, continually stirring. Then you are ready for step four. Add the pectin mixture to the fruit or juice mixture and stir for three minutes or until the sugar is completely dissolved and no longer grainy. Stir, stir, stir for three minutes. Step five, fill all the containers immediately, leaving a half an inch space at the top for expansion during freezing. Cover with lid. I like to wipe them off in case anything spilled out during the filling. Add on the lid. And then 
there you have it, fresh raspberry jam. Let this jam stand at room temperature for 24 hours or until set. You can refrigerate it up to three weeks or freeze it up to one year. Enjoy! Uh, mom?